When the clock ticked down to zero in 2020, the nation watched the ball drop in Times Square, on TV, from their homes, and said good riddance to a year marked by a brutal pandemic that forced lockdowns, crushed many businesses and killed 350,000 Americans. So far 2021 has brought little relief. Now the United States is poised to cross the dark threshold of 700, 000 coronavirus deaths, including another 350, 000 this year. The U. S. reached 600, 000 deaths in June, when daily deaths had dropped to under 400 and many were optimistic the end was near for the ruthless world crisis, at least at home. Vaccines were widely available to all American adults and teens. For free. 3 plus months and 100, 000 deaths later, 2. 000 Americans are dying per day. And millions have lost interest in the fight. Football stadiums are packed with maskless fans, some in states that ban vaccination and mask requirements. Reaching 800, 000 deaths isn't a long shot, and the specter of even 1 million deaths looms. Soon it will be winter, indoor venues will draw crowds, and people will go inside to socialize. All that increases transmission risk, said Ogbonaya Omega, an associate professor and public health specialist at Butler University in Indianapolis. Given the current rates and expectations, the possibility of reaching 800, 000 by the end of 2021 is not unreasonable, Omega said. And beyond that, because the ending depends mainly on human preferences, we can hit that, 1 million, number. Why do some resist COVID vaccines but embrace monoclonal antibodies? Dr. Eric C. Opinia, Director of Global Health at Northwell Health in New Hyde Park, New York, agrees. I think it's realistic that we will see more surges, especially in counties with low vaccination rates, and that we will hit 1 million dead, he said. I hope we don't, and I think we still have the ability to end this pandemic in the U. S. in the world. Vaccinations were a game changer, but many Americans balked. And vaccinated people can spread the virus and get sick themselves, we've learned. Breakthrough infections among those who took the jabs are troubling, 